Today is the 27th of May, 2022. And this is my first review of the 1856 all-wheel panfish boat. So we, Mel and I got this boat today. Um, don't know how it runs yet. We ain't put it in the water. Uh, we got this Minn Kota Tarova uh, GPS. Auto motor on it so i seem kind of slow on this it's because i don't really know anything about this boat that much anyways uh, looks pretty nice some of the spare tire we got the electric anchors on it um, it's got 16 pound anchors on it come with a small uh, fish finder, depth finder, whatever you want to call it. It's got uh, RPM and uh, the fuel gauge. We got the high-end seats on it uh, instead of the standard seats. Um, I did that on purpose. That way it'll be more comfortable. It's got lots of storage, I noticed, on it. The storage right there. Uh, then you operate the anchors from right there, and you can do it from right there. There's one in the back for mail. It's got a pretty good size lab well. Can't open it from here, I ain't got enough leverage. Some more storage. It's got a heavy duty trailer. Pretty nice trailer. I don't know if you can see how big those wheels are, but here's my little leg. Uh, but anyways, you got a 70 horse Yamaha on it. To charge the uh, batteries, you just uh, plug in right here. Now, Shannon at the dealership told me to keep the batteries always plugged in. So I'll be doing that here really soon. We got the Bimini top put on it. Like I said, this is the 1856 uh, panfish from Allwell. Total motor was rather expensive. That was a $1,500 add-on. The anchors were very expensive too. I think those were a $1,200 add-on. We have this hydraulic steering here. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, we've got a, a rod box here. There you go. And if the running lights down in there. Uh, let me see here. Put that down, twist that. That. Supposedly the Bimini top will go all the way to the back of my seat where I'll be sitting. Um, like I said, I don't know if I said this, but it has a 70 horse, uh, four stroke Yamaha, and um, it's got its own oil in it. You don't have to add no oil to the fuel. Um, here's where you put the fuel in. Nice, just little button right there. Here's where I put the fuel. Right there. A nice prop on it. Now this is an 18 foot boat. So Mel and I are looking forward to taking this puppy out in the next couple days. Um, we were gonna get uh, the bass tracker for the price. We thought this was a better buy. Anyways, uh, pull cat out.